There we go. Hey guys, Oli here from London Disc Golf Community. How's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Today we'll be throwing some destroyers out in the field. We've got six different destroyers here. I did an unboxing video of two of them. That was the Ricky Wysocki Claw and the Jomas Discs. So without further ado, let's see how they fly. happy with that, that's quite far. That was a monster. Really happy with that. Nice and straight, turned over. Really like that one. Got a bit too much angle on that one. All right, next I think we'll go with the uh, pink Pro Destroyer. I think this will probably go the furthest. Seems to be that Strictly plastic, already kind of. Well, it's brand new, so it's not beat in, but I think it's going to be a bomber once it beats in a bit more, becomes a bit more unstable. Bit of a funny flight there, I'm not sure it was a bad release or a bit of wind that kicked in there, but it seemed to go out and turn over and kind of wobble a bit. Mid flight, it's a bit weird. Pro Destroyer? Yeah, I wouldn't go. I'm not sure what it is, I think I'm just throwing them too much for Anheuser beforehand or not. Let's do that one one more time. Third time lucky. Destroyer, destroyer, come on, don't let me down. Let's see if we get 110. Come on. Just need to release on that right angle. I think the wind's pushing it down. Oh. Let's just go. Third time lucky. There we go. Right, we'll go into the Champion Destroyer. We'll put a bit more Annie on this one. Yeah, that was not a good throw. I wanted to release on an Annie, but it came out in my hyzer on my hand. Here we go. Turned over quite a lot to the right. Uh, 
I think there's a path going up along there. So we'll see how far that goes. I reckon it's probably about 90 meters maybe. Alright, Yellow Star Destroyer, 168 gram. Again, not furthest. I think it's, it's just struggling to release from the Anheuser angle, just coming out on the Heiser naturally. Going with the Star Destroyer this time, 170, but this is my most overstable, so I have to really force it on an Annie. I think that looked really good, that was a big force turnover, did a nice S shot. Well, I should have done really with all of them. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching that. I hope you enjoyed it. Just want to mention that I think the reason why I was able to get more distance on the sidearm, sorry, forehand than the backhand was I was able to get that angle a lot more consistent, a lot better, release it out on that Anheuser angle. So there we go. Whereas on the backhand, I struggled to be able to release on the Anheuser angle and it always comes out either too much of a Heiser angle. So. I find it more, more natural to be able to release on an Anheuser angle with the forehand and I think that's why I get the full flex of the, uh, of the disc and get the full flight on the forehand and I think that's why I'm able to get more distance. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. How can I improve? Did you guys learn anything from this? Let me know. Please consider to like the video and subscribe. I'm hoping to post out uh, a video every single Tuesday so hit the notification bell if you like these kind of videos and want to get updated. And I think that's it for this, so thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.